Welcome back, everyone. Wow. So as you can, or as you have just read, uh, Kai Senate is in quite a bit of trouble. Um, I don't know if you're familiar. I wasn't. I'm not super familiar with this guy, but he is one of the top uh, media, social media influencers on Twitch. He also has a YouTube channel. I think a TikTok. Mm -hmm. Lots I'm of, sure he's cross-platforming everywhere. Yeah, lots of um, channels. Mm -hmm. He, you know, earns a huge amount of money. He does a lot of stuff. That yeah. a lot of it's just vlogs, his daily life, him doing funny comedy skits or telling kind of cheesy jokes or interviewing celebrities. This is where I came across him. He did an interview with Lil Nas X and I was like, oh, I want to see an interview with him. But after about 10 minutes of watching the stream, Kai Senat was just so annoying. He's 21 years old. I'm 41 years yeah. old. You know, I just couldn't get into the humor. So I had to turn him off. But anyway, he's big with the kids. So. Um, he had this idea, uh -huh. apparently, he was going to do a big giveaway. Mm. He announced, I think it was like the 4th of the 4th at 4 p.m. Oh, yeah. at Central U Union Square Park. Come on down, and if you answer some simple questions, I will give you a place, one of the new PlayStation mm. consoles. So big prize, seemingly simple contest. Mm. Obviously, thousands and thousands of people showed up way before Kai even arrived mm -hmm. at the location. Um, chaos sort of uh, broke out. The mm -hmm. police came. That incited the, the, the mm -hmm. young crowd even more. They started throwing things at the police. Then more police showed up to try and control the situation. And then they started breaking into shops and looting. And it turned into a sort of riot. It was absolute carnage. And uh, 60 people got arrested, yeah. including Kai Senna himself, and he was charged with inciting a riot. Mm -hmm. um, we've still got to wait and see, you know, how that's going to go. He's still un under questioning, so we don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. But um, it doesn't look good, to be honest. Um, at the very least, what a stupid <laughs> idea was that. Um, I can't believe only 60 people, though. <laughs> only 60 people yeah. got arrested. Um, yeah. It perhaps should have been more. Uh, uh, the pictures online are pretty. <gasps> wow. Um, I've never understood the switch from being a wild crowd to being a riot. Mm -hmm. I've never understood the switch from like jumping around and having fun to breaking into places and smashing things and burning things. I don't understand where that comes from. It did seem to be a sort of step by step process. Like, first it was just a few balls. Yeah. And oh, go away, police! You know we're doing our own private thing. But then, as soon as somebody throws a bottle, then that everyone, the, you know, the police are calling for backup, and then more police arrive, and then oh, you, it, it, it was step by step and just got totally out. Of Crazy control. people. The kids these days. Kids these days. Well, I don't know if. Yeah. Back in the 1970s, if the the Beatles had said, oh, show up at this particular place at this yeah, particular yeah, yeah. time, and we'll give you a really Absolute huge riot. expensive prize. I think exactly Absolute the same riot. thing would yeah. have happened. Yeah. Yeah, two days before the event. <laughs> Is the most important element for becoming a popular social media influencer? Well, since you said popular, mm -hmm. the key to becoming a popular social media influencer is lying. Um, Absolute 100% lying. Um, if you look at your top influencers now, you cannot, it is insanely difficult to find one of them who doesn't lie. Now this lie I don't think is malicious in the way of purposefully trying to scam people, although there are plenty of influencers do that who do that. But the lie is uh, they look good on camera. Mm -hmm. They try to present good things on camera or they try to present what is trendy on camera, mm -hmm. even if that is something that's considered negative um, in some person's view, uh, like mental health. There's been plenty of people who've lied about their mental health to get more views. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of people who have lied about their journey with their weight that have um, gotten plenty of views. There's people who have lied about their entire life, how much money they've had to get more views. Mm -hmm. So I think becoming a popular social media influencer requires you to know where and when and how to lie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess it's, it's all acting. Yeah. yeah, it's all lies and acting. But unlike on TV, where we know it's acting, yeah. it's masquerading as somebody's real yeah. life and real opinions. Exactly. 
Because people want authenticity, mm -hmm. but what they're getting is clouded acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obscured acting. That's mm -hmm. all it is. Um, yeah, I, I think it's a dismal view, but the more I watch YouTube, the more I realize, uh, and TikTok, especially TikTok, um, the more I realize it's all about acting. Mm, yeah. yeah. So the other perhaps interesting question, and you kind of already touched on this, is, you know, in this whole situation, yeah. a lot of police got, you know, a few lumps, including the chief of police. Um, <laughs> I don't know what he was doing there, like in the fray. But yeah. anyway, uh, a good leader. A go <laughs> yes. Lead from the front. What do you think incited this crowd to tip over the edge, you know, from uh, yeah gathering to meet an influencer to rioting and destroying everything. I think specifically when it comes to the police, there is such a complicated relationship between people and police in the U.S. Um, police are can be seen as having too much power or abusing their power. So people are, as soon as they see police, they can automatically become defensive. Mm -hmm. um, as for tipping the edge, I think kind of what you said was a little bit right. There's, it only takes one person doing one action to start a fire, mm, you know, like mm -hmm. one spark to start a fire. Mm -hmm. And these people were gasoline and someone threw in, you know, a burning rag. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the police should have the influence of calming down a crowd. But in this case, uh, a lot of people want to go through that rebellion, through that uh, sort of, um, what do what do you want to call it? I guess I'll just call it rebellion against the authority. Mm. And that is true for every young generation when they were young. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, and police coming there just, uh, I think, tipped it over the edge that way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. But New York police are, are brutal, I heard. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And by brutal, uh, yeah, of course, there's a lot of terrible things that have happened. But I mean... Among American police, they have the image of being stronger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, their presence does feel like it might be a yeah. threat. Simply just them being there, <gasps> everyone's autom automatically, yeah. wow, what are they going to do? And this was unsanctioned, too. This was an illegal mm -hmm. gathering of mm -hmm. people, which mm -hmm. I'm sure caused everyone to be on edge anyways. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, the police are trying to ruin our fun? Mm -hmm. Why can't we just gather where we want? It's a free country. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that fed into it too. If it were a scheduled event with police already there controlling the crowd, none of this would have probably happened. Mm, yeah. I mean, New York, uh, sorry, New York Square, Times Square during uh, 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 the New Year's mm -hmm. well, planned event, way more people show up, no riots. Mm -hmm. Also, no giveaways mm, yes. that I'm aware of. <laughs> Great example. Yeah. Anyway, unfortunately, we don't have a PS5 to yeah. give away. Come on, Kai. But we promise it'll still be worth studying the vocabulary anyway, you know, the long-term benefits, and you won't have to go through a riot or get arrested. True. So mm -hmm. play it safe. Stick with the vocab. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Spontaneous. Spontaneous. Get the upper hand. Get the upper hand. Lockdown. Lockdown. Insight. Insight. Stir the pot. Stir the pot.